All right, it's gonna take a minute for y'all to get on, but I know y'all gonna get on. Y'all always do. What's going on, everybody? I'm just about to share the broadcast. So if you are joining, welcome. Come on in. All right, let's share this broadcast real quickly. Let's see, let's see. Share this. Hey guys, welcome, welcome. I'm just sharing the broadcast real quick. So if you will, just chime in and tell me where you are tuning in from, okay? Do that for me really quickly as I share the broadcast and as I allow more people to come on. Just give me 35 seconds, please, guys. I love you a long time if you do. All right? All right one more share. There we go. What's going on, family? In case you didn't know, my name is Salandia Hammond, also known as Sue Hell Baby, also known as your thug motivator, and I'm excited to be here on this broadcast. Thank you so much, Terry, seeing that I look pretty in blue. Great color. Thank you so much. My daughter is experimenting with makeup, and uh, she is home uh, for the rest of this weekend, and I am her guinea pig, and I'm excited because I don't know anything about makeup. So she has been experimenting on me. So, y'all, let's give a big shout-out to my daughter, Dee Dee Moore, okay? Um... So glad to see so many of you on this broadcast. As promised, I wanted to come live to you guys to talk to you about David E. Talbert's seminar and to talk to you about how I got casted in his new movie, Almost Christmas, baby. But what I want you to do is I want you to take a minute and share the broadcast right now. Anybody who's an actor, comedian, playwright, director, producer, singer, anyone who is interested, they may not be doing it right now, but they're interested in doing any of those things, um, share the video right now to their page. So I'm going to give you a quick 15 seconds to share the video. Once you've shared the video, what I want you guys to do is chime in and tell me where you're watching this broadcast from, and I'm going to tell you how you can have the opportunity of a lifetime. So I'm going to share the video again, and I need you guys to do the same thing. Tell me where you're chiming in from, and then we're going to get started on this quick broadcast, because you know a y'all fix my life come on tonight, child, at 9 p.m., so y'all ain't about to have me on here all day long. <laughs> now, I am going to answer any questions that you have, um, so... Stay tuned for the question and the answer period. So I'm going to share this one more place. I need y'all to share this thing. Come on. Don't be stingy with this information. Share this information. When you bless other people, you become even more blessed. Trust me. I know it. I do it. It works. So let's kick it. Let's go. All right, guys. For many of you who may not know, right? David E. Talbert did an acting seminar. I want to call it the right thing. Let me go to David's page and look it up. Listen, if you are not following David E. Talbert. On Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you need to do that immediately, immediately after this broadcast. Go and follow him. So, next weekend, David is bringing back his Actors Workshop and Talent Search. You don't know who David E. Talbert is, Google him, but I'll give you a quick, brief history on his background of work. He's an award-winning playwright. He's been dubbed as the People's Playwright. He's toured 15 plays nationwide, grossing millions of dollars. You've seen them on BET. Some of them are uh, Nick, the, in, the Nick, Love in, the Nick, in, the, in Love in the Nick of Time, Suddenly Single, um, The Fabric of a Man, and the list goes on and on and on. He's also written and directed three movies, one being uh, First Sunday with Ice Cube and um, I always forget the man's name that was he was on Saturday Night Live. Please forgive me, guys. But um, uh, First Sunday and also Baggage Claim and now the movie that I have the pleasure of being in as, as well as so many other people that went to his uh, Actors Workshop and Talent Search, which is Almost Christmas. Now, it has the likes of Oscar winner Monique in it. It has Gabrielle Union. It has has uh, my man, whom I love, um, Danny Glover. It has Romney Malco from Think Like a Man. It has, oh God, it has so many different people in it. It's unbelievable, unbelievable, the A-listers that are in this movie. So you got to check it out. Um, but let me tell you how that happened, guys. That happened because I invested in myself and I went to David's seminar. Now, I don't know of anybody, now there are people that are doing seminars, okay, don't get it twisted, there are, but I don't know of any uh, writer or director that are doing seminars giving you information to better your skills and then turning around and auditioning you. Come on now. Guys, if you are not taking advantage of this seminar, I feel like my lipstick is spreading, I'm sorry, my daughter's going to be pissed at me. 
if you are not taking advantage of these seminars that David has, you are really, really missing great opportunities. Listen, the seminars are happening October 1st in Chicago this year, October 2nd in Dallas, uh, October 15th in New York, and October 16th in Washington, D.C. I went to David's uh, seminar two years ago in Chicago. Okay, and I um, auditioned for him. And uh, but prior to auditioning for David, he gave us six hours of information. Six hours of information, not lecturing us. We he gave us information. We actually got up and performed. We acted for him. He critiqued us on it. He told us what we needed to improve on. He told us if we were good. He told us what to expect when we go. Uh, you know, before people. You know how to get into the role. What acting really is. And I don't want to give away the whole seminar, but for I'm been getting a lot of people hitting me up in my inbox saying, should I go to this seminar? Is this seminar worth it? What can I expect? Listen, listen, Linda. I went to the seminar and I came back with so much information that I could share with my actors. I came back with my eyes opened up um, for me to perform better as an actor, to, to open my mind to write better as a writer, to, to be better as a director. But not only that, I got to audition for a Hollywood writer, director. Okay, I was st standing there. Okay, auditioning for him in person. Where are you going to get that opportunity, guys? I live in King Street, South Carolina. So for those of you asking me, should I go or should I not? I want to snap you. I want to. I want to. I want to tap your face lightly. I really do because it shouldn't even be a question. I don't care if you think that you're green. This seminar is for everybody. Whether you're green, whether you started doing it, or you've been doing it for a minute, you need to get there. And let me tell you why. Because you're learning from the best in the business. You're around other people in the room where you can network. They can help you to hone your craft. But this year, David has made it even better. Not only is he coming to pour into us and to allow us to show him what we got, he's also bringing Damien McKay. Damien McKay is the head of casting at Universal Pictures, which he's casted for the likes of the Fast and Furious franchise. Y'all heard of that? Fifty Shades of Grey. Anybody heard of that? Straight out of Compton, Jurassic World, Pitch Perfect, and that's just to name a few. So Damien McKay and David E. Talbert are going to be at these seminars in October. The first one is next week, October 1st, in Chicago. The next one is October 2nd in Dallas, New York, October 15th, and Washington, D.C., October 16th. Guys, it behooves you to get there, to do what you can. Not only is he going to teach you what it takes to make it in Hollywood or maybe locally where you're putting on your shows, you're going to have an opportunity to audition, okay? You you may you may have an opportunity to audition. He's got upcoming plays coming in upcoming movies, and you could be just like me. Do your thing and then get cast in the movie. Almost Christmas is coming out November eleventh this year, 2016, worldwide. And had I not gone to his seminar, had I not gotten that knowledge, had I not been able to audition for him, I would not have this opportunity. So because so many people are hitting me up in my inbox, I wanted to take the time to personally come out here and tell you about the seminars and tell you how it's going to help you in your career. Get to the seminars. DavidETalbert.com. DavidETalbert.com. Com. Anybody got any questions for me? I want to answer your questions because I, I, I mean, my, my inbox was getting flooded like crazy. And also, when you go to this seminar, don't just sit in the back and do nothing. Get up and participate. I mean, soak in the knowledge, but when it's time to act out scenes and stuff like that, raise your hand, participate. Let them know that you, you, you want to be there. You there because you hungry. You hungry and you want to get fed, okay? So I need y'all to keep that in your mind. Anybody got any questions? Because I, I just wanted to come on and say that's how it came about. It came about going to the seminars, getting in the room, and learning. And even if you don't get a part, get this. You are now in their Rolodex. So when things come up, 
they can tell other people in Hollywood, maybe, you know, check this person out. Or when David has other uh, productions that come up, he may just call on you. You just never know. But the thing is, you got to get into the room. So for those of you asking me, is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, I cursed this now because I'm serious about that. Because I, I'm serious about people really going after their dreams and stop being afraid and get in the room. You don't know where this will lead to. You could be the next great talent. So do not second guess this opportunity, okay? Nobody's paying me to do this. I'm doing this because it's been a blessing in my life, and I want it to be a blessing in your life. And I've been there. I've been to two of them. And I'm going back because, again, this time the deal is even sweeter. You got Damian McKay alongside Mr. David E. Talbert. Damian McKay, the head of casting for Universal Pictures. Guys, the head of casting for, for Universal Pictures. They put out movies like The Fast and the Furious, Jurassic Park. If you are received well, you don't know where this could lead to. So asking me the question of should you go, that, that's not even a question. That shouldn't be a question. The question should be where do I go to uh, register so that I can get there. That should be the question. So listen up. What are you guys' question? When am I airing on the Steve Harvey show? Please share the date. I should have the date in about a week, and then I will share that. But right now, I don't have the date. They told us within two to three weeks, so I'll let you guys know. What's up, guys? What's up, Melody from Fort Myers? What's everybody that's chiming in today? I appreciate that. Kim King, Muriel, Idris, Heather, Sharonda. Any questions, guys, about this seminar? I want you to share this broadcast. Even if you don't know anybody personally that may benefit, I'm sure you have friends on there that may have aspirations to be in the entertainment industry. So share this, and, and this would really, really help them. Um, no one can work your vision better than yourself. You are so right, Kenneth. And the only way to do that, man, is to invest in yourself and get out there, get that knowledge, and come back and implement it and make yourself better, get yourself seen so that you can get these opportunities. What's going on, Loretta? Nice to hear from you, honey. Uh, Kevin and Monica Griffin, thank you so much. Yes, sharing and share, sharing is caring. If you care, you're going to share, you know, unless it's something bad. But if it's good stuff, you should be willing to share it with the world. And so this is your opportunity now because I can't answer all these inboxes I'm getting. This is your opportunity. If you got a question, you better present it right here and now. But at the end of the day, it shouldn't be no question. You just need to get to where you need to be. You got to get to Chicago or Dallas or New York or Washington. Baby, when you get there, you never know. You could be on stage touring the world next year. You could be in the in, on the big screen and everybody could be coming to see you next year. But I'll tell you what, it won't happen unless you put yourself in the room and give yourself an opportunity. And even if you don't get on stage or you don't get on the big screen, at least you're going to get knowledge, 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 knowledge. And when you apply that knowledge, it is priceless. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? You better understand what I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to sip a little bit of water because I'm talking a mile a minute. Mm -hmm. Anybody got any questions? I love you back, Lakeisha. Anybody got any questions? Any questions? Any questions, guys? Listen, I'm telling you. These seminars changed my life, man. They changed, uh, they, these seminars changed my life. All, all jokes aside. And I, that's why I push it so hard. I share it in groups. I put it on YouTube, I put it on Instagram, I put it on Twitter because I know what it's like to want to make it, man, in the entertainment industry, which I think, in my opinion, acting and writing is the hardest industry in the world because you got so many different singing contests that you can go and apply for. But when it comes to breaking into theater, when it comes to breaking into film, it's a different stratosphere, man. It's a different world. So for someone from Hollywood to come and to invest in people who are interested in that craft says a lot. And what I want to tell you about Mr. David Talbert's character is that this man has genuine love for the entertainer. If he can help you, he will help you. He has a heart for the people. I promise you that. I promise you that. And he is humble. His staff is humble. They're down to earth and they're helpful and they're all about seeing you succeed. But you got to want it. And don't come up there with no with no crap if you're lazy and think you're just going to get something handed to you. You have to want it. And showing, showing uh, one way of showing wanting it is to be in the room. 
That's it. That's, that's all it is. Is this what you've always wanted to do? Yes, Vicky. Ever since I was five years old, from my earliest memory as five year old, five as a five year old, I wanted to act. That's all I wanted to do was act. And then as I got older, I wanted to speak. Uh, I started wanting to write. Uh, initially, I didn't think that my writing was any good, but then I started writing as a way to relieve some of the pain that I was going through. But acting has always been my thing. Getting on the stage and getting the love from the audience, oh my God, that's that's my heartbeat. That's my breath. That's why I was created. And so, but I realize now that it doesn't always have to be from acting. It could be from speaking. It could be from hosting. You know what I'm saying? It could be from writing. It's just, I mean... But just being able to communicate and connect with an audience, oh my God, that, that, I don't do drugs. I've never done drugs, but I promise you, that's what gets me high. That's what gives me life. That is my purpose to connect and to use my gifts to inspire you to live, love, learn, and laugh, baby. Not to quit, but to follow your dreams to some kind of success. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Laquita. You're a work of art, walking with God's touch. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Blessings to you. So listen, any questions, guys? What's up, Rosetta Buford and Kalia, both of my Marine Corps sisters? Any questions about this, guys? If you're just joining the broadcast, I suggest you go back and watch it from the beginning. And please, please share it to your page. Just because you may not be interested in entertainment does not mean that your friends or your enemies may not be interested. So share it to your page so your stalkers and your loved ones and your friends can see it and get this information, invest in themselves, and go to the next level. All right? Oh, thank y'all for the hearts. I really appreciate that. Y'all, y'all, I really appreciate that. You know, y'all and Vanzant's coming on tonight. It's Saturday. But um, if we got, if we don't have any more questions, let me see. Any more questions, guys? I need y'all to share this broadcast, man. Help somebody out. This ain't just about me. You know, a lot of people have information and they won't share it. Uh, a, a lot of people will keep that information because they think that, oh, if I share it, you know, it's going to take away from my opportunities. Let me tell you a brief story real quick. Hey, mama. My mama just came on. Um, when I auditioned, right? David was casting people for his new stage play, Another Man Will. And I didn't, I didn't win, I didn't, I didn't earn the right to be on stage. Uh, but however, I was in the, t in the uh, last pickings of the people that they were looking at. All right. He, he said that in his Atlanta seminar. And the female that they picked, Miss Teresa Sykes, she is phenomenal. I did not at one point in time have any jealousy that she got the role. When I found out she got the role, I was like, she was perfect for the role. Matter of fact, I went to California to see her on stage in the role. Me and uh, my good friend, Rosetta Buford, she lives in LA. She actually went to the, uh, to the play with me. And for me to sit in the audience and see her on stage, because get this, I was in the Chicago workshop with her. So I seen her performing in the Chicago workshop. So now fast forward, here I am, six, seven months later, and I'm seeing her on stage because she went to a workshop. Now she's on stage. The, the play is going to be recorded to DVD. The DVD is going to be aired on BET plus sold all across the world. When I saw that, I said, oh my God, I was with her. That means that if he did it for her, he can do it for me. You don't understand what that did for me to see her on stage, to know that I was just in Chicago with her. And now, boom, David has launched her career by casting her in a major role in his stage play. So listen, for those of you that are asking me, is it worth it or what, to, what it's like? It is worth it. And the experience is like no other, like no other. Get to the David E. Talbert seminars. Sell everything you got to sell to get there. If sell everything that's legal now, okay? Legal. That you got to get there. No excuses, man. Ask family members to, 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 to help you out. Because I'm going to tell you, if I had not gotten there, I don't know where I would be right now. Because I was at a point in my life where I was getting tired of the internet marketing and I wanted to shift. I wanted to shift and I wanted to get back into the stage plays and all of this came about. It's amazing how God orchestrates everything, but I'm not going to go into that. All I want to say is davidetalbert.com. Come to Eastern North Carolina with your plays. I would love to. Uh, we're going to work on some funding for that, get some producers. So I'm going to sign off, guys, but I want you to go to David E. Talbert's Facebook page. Go to his Twitter and Instagram. Follow him. Go to his website, davidetalbert.com. Sign up for the newsletter. That's going to let you know any and everything that he has coming out. I'm telling you guys, 
Make this happen. Make this happen. I am Salandia Hammond, a.k.a. Sue Ham, baby, also known as the Thug Motivator. And always, guys, I want to encourage you to live, love, learn, and laugh, baby. Don't you quit. Follow your dreams to success and get to DavidETalbert.com right now. And to keep up with me and everything that I've got going on, check us out at SueHamStagePlays.com. And don't worry, we'll be announcing really soon when the episode that I am on for Steve Harvey TV show will be coming out. In about another week, I should have that date, okay? So DavidETalbert.com, SueHamStagePlays.com. Mwah! I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>